Uh, the Europe tour. It was nuts, man. Like we st we started rapping in the basement of our middle school together, and then we're in Paris with our team, and it's like a real tangible thing. Like we could really say like these French kids were fucking with us and spitting our lyrics, and like, it was like basically sold out. Three hundred kids, and they were singing everywhere. It's an old song, new like song. What does that feel like? Undescribable. It was perfect, actually. Yeah. And this is basically like a business for you guys. You guys have pre started your own business. 100% of business. Yeah. yeah, so what's the biggest thing that you've learned? We always say you have to know how to carry yourself out here, you know? And just like every decision affects our brand. Our brand is the most important thing to us. What's your brand? Like, for example, just like having a standard. We want like a certain standard of music when we put it out. Our music, our videos, our image, our Instagram photos, tweets, everything has to be in sync with what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And that comes back just like from the beginning, OCD motion twist, everything has to be in sync. How we're looking out here, you know, appearance, grooming, literally everything. You can just yeah. like our team, the people around us like. We like, it's funny, like we say that we're in uniform, you know, we wear like, we dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. We just had to carry ourselves a certain way, you know. It's all a part of our brand. It's a lot of it's just perception. This high. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if there's like another connotation type thing to to it. When we made it, I mean we don't really be, we, we don't pride that much anyway, but like when we made it, like both of us didn't really smoke at all. It wasn't about that. It's just about being high in the moment and like the real natural high is just euphoria when you're doing what you want, when you're being, when you're happy. Like everyone, everyone's had that moment where they're sober as hell, but they feel high, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what it's about. It's not corny. We're not like positivity out here every second, every day. Yeah. We still have songs where we're just angry and want to rap about being an angry <laughs> rapper, but then we have songs that we, we try to help people, you know? And like, not, not, not through, it's just through the overall message. We don't have lines like, help yourself, but it's just like, for real. We, we, we just, everything we try to do is just, it's just for the people, for us, you know, because like, we're no different than anybody else. And even when we, even, even when we're performing in stadiums, not for a couple people at, at, at a college nearby, it's like, it's always going to be the same. Yeah. Do you guys feel like maybe people also associate you guys with funky hair? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just like, you know. Definitely. As of recent, we just kind of, well, for the past couple of years, we just kind of, you know, just kind of taking different steps and different risks, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't be afraid to take risks, and you don't want to have, like, the same hair as everybody. I just want to make a statement. Yeah. You know, be like, I'm me, and people, you know, mm -hmm. people will be like, yo, like, I fuck with Moose's hair, like, yo, do his hair just like Twizzy, like. What's the next step with your hair? Like, for us, man, growing our hair as long has just been like it's it's just fun. Mm -hmm. It's like and, and it's just fun to do like afros and <laughs> nah, I can't grow a beard, but whatever. Like we, we don't really know the next step, and I I think that's like the best part of it. Like that's our new mixtape is called Trust Yourself, and that's it. Kind of goes with that. It's like we don't really know what's gonna happen next week. We don't really know what's gonna happen a year from now. You just gotta trust everything's gonna work itself out, and if you put your best foot forward and do what you gotta do, it's gonna be all right. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. we don't know. I don't think I'm going to cut my hair, though. It's not going to no. cut it off. Yeah, and you started really doing the, like, kind of ponytail thing, or just, like, pulling it back? Yeah, that was pretty recent. Like, yeah. I wasn't really feeling it for, like, the first couple of days I had it, I was, like, depressed. With the ponytail? Yep. <laughs> so then why did, you take, why did you take it out? Because I just, like, I don't know, it kind of got to the point, like, where it wasn't standing up straight anymore. It was kind of falling back. I okay. Kinda, like, Ask me to put in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so I want to talk about hometown. Yeah, talk um, about it. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I like that we're kind of getting an inside of where you guys are from. Mm -hmm. Was some of it shot in your actual houses or, or no? Yeah, so like uh, we shot it in some of Moosh's apartment with his kids and stuff. And like that's the first time we ever put the boys in the video. Did you hesitate at all before you put your kids on camera and showed them to the world? Yeah, pretty much? I still kind of like go back and forth sometimes if it was a good decision or a bad decision. Mm -hmm. Well, you, already, you, you know? put them on Instagram. Yeah. You put them on Instagram. Yeah, all the time. You know, yeah. so like you kind of, it comes with the territory, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, but regarding, I think it was a good decision, but you, you know, certain days you're like, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But it's like in a spur of the moment. So what's that been like raising kids and being so young? I mean, it's pretty much, it's amazing. It's really fun. It's cool. It's definitely fun. The fact that there's two of them, and it's like right now is like a really good age. Like they do a bunch of fun stuff, and like 
definitely awesome. And they look like nice little boys. Yeah. I see some yeah. of the videos. <laughs> I've got to admit, I've, I've uh, your girlfriend, your yeah. girlfriend. I've stalked your girlfriend for a minute. Yeah. She posts these yeah. these videos of them. They're so cute. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah for sure. And is that cool for you too? You're like you're like the uncle, right? Yeah, uncle he's the Twizzy. uncle. Yeah. Do they call you Uncle Twizzy? They call me Twizzy. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Like uh, it was my birthday a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah. They sent me a video and like. They were saying happy birthday to me, and like that was crazy because, like, I remember when they couldn't say anything, uh-huh. you know. But I mean, that just comes back to like who we are. Like, they're good kids because Moosh is a good kid, and we're all good kids. It's like, I don't know, it sounds easy, it sounds simple, but it's just like basic math. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good dad, good kids. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'm talking about how I know what your kids speak like, what they dress like. Like, is that weird? No, no, not really. You know, it's just the time that we're in, like. You got to think, like, we're, compared to, like, these big celebrities, like, Kim, fucking, yeah, we're, like, right here, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, imagine how their lives are. So, it's not really, like, and, like, we know each other, you know? So, yeah. it's like, it's something. <laughs> if you guys could choose your favorite and least favorite thing about each other, Ooh. what would it be? Favorite? Mm, I, I like that Moosh is, he, he, he has leadership qualities about him. I really like that. That's a good one. Cause that's important, you know. What I mean, in any type of relationship, mom and dad, brother and sister, business partners, rappers, yeah. like best friends, girlfriend, boyfriend. It's it's definitely nice to be able. Never got that question before. It's it's, question. it's definitely nice Thanks. to be able to 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 lean on someone, you know, to lead for sure. Least favorite. <laughs> He's pretty stubborn. Yeah. Oh, you're stubborn. Yeah, you know, but as as, as we say, like when we work together, it's it's best friends musicians, whatever, business partners, you get through things, you know, mm-hmm. and it's all learning experience, and it's like, I mean, I'll let him answer too, but I don't think I could be doing this just solo dolo, like, mm-hmm. it's stoked to be with somebody, like, it's crazy. It's like, we'll never get in a fight where it's on some, like, I can't do this anymore, it's like, all right, what do we got to do tomorrow, like, what time do we do? Like, you like, only five bucks, that shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just different than that, it's, it's deeper than that, or it's family, so it's like, you don't, know, family never goes away, mm-hmm. you know? I'll let him answer now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How much time we got? I mean, one thing I love about Twizzy is uh, he definitely is, like, the wild card. So it's just, like, I'm, like, like you said, uh, sometimes I'm super stubborn. I'm not in a good mood. Twizzy's just, like, he's a character. And it's just, like, that's why our relationship is so good. Like, if I'm up... He's down, he's down, I'm up, like, whatever, whatever situation is. So it's like you help each other out? Yeah, yeah sure. It's yin and yang, like, For sure, like. Are you ever both down, though? And then it's just like, oh, we're we, bringing each other down. We don't bring it, like, I, maybe, but it's just like, that's the fact. Yes, might be down with. Yeah. And we'll get okay. back together, but. I like that. And definitely, one thing I don't like about Twizzy, <laughs> uh, but some of what we both do, like we definitely overanalyze too much. Like yeah. we're both like in our heads a lot. Like, yeah. like so say if like we're putting out a video, like we over and we're perfectionists. Mm-hmm. He might like be a little worse than me. And like say we're in the studio, I'm like, oh, that verse is hot. He'll like be upset. I'm like, <laughs> no, nah, dude, it's not good. Yeah. And then this comes with us one of our, one of our, our stuff perfect and down to a T. And like. And that's also a good quality too. Like we'll go back and do it a hundred times. I'm like, yo, dude, it's fine, bro. Like just sit with it, mm-hmm. and then like, mm-hmm. vice versa. So, yeah. that yeah, was a cool. good question. Though. Those, Those are, are good answers. I like this. I'm so honest. No one's, ever, no one's ever asked us those questions. For sure. It's cool. Yeah, that was a nice little <laughs> one you threw in there. <laughs> yeah, She's trying up. to ruffle some feathers. <laughs> 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 What are you feeling when you're performing? That's a good question too. I mean, as far as the music, like uh, live show is different, but as the music, it's all about vibes for us. So like when you when you feel a certain way when you listen to it, it's probably because like that's how we felt when we recorded it. If we're in a bad mood, like this, this song's not going to turn out the way it should be. <laughs> we'll go back and do it the next day or or redo some parts. It's all about vibes. and. For us, it's like, it, it started out when we were young, it's the same thing now, it's just like, we do it because it's just like fun. Mm-hmm. So if we're not like having fun, it's just gonna come across that way. Some of our best songs we like the best are just like songs that you it just clearly comes across that we're just having a good time. 
And as far as live shows, it's definitely the same thing. We try to portray that on stage. You know, we try to go on stage every night with the same energy. It's definitely tough. You know, shows are like, yeah. we, we had like one of our homies tell us, like, a show's going to be like a, a round of boxing. It's 12 rounds. Like, it's not going to be the whole show great. It's going to be some parts you totally fuck up and the crowd can totally tell. Mm -hmm. It's going to be some parts where it's like awesome and everyone can feel the same thing. It's going to yeah. be some parts where the crowd, a show is just not, 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 not feeling you and it just sucks, mm -hmm. you know? It's tough. Yeah. Is there anything that you wish someone had asked you in an interview that you'd like to answer mm. or put out there? Mm. Uh, that's a crazy question too. Um, well, first, you, you you got a lot better at interviewing, by the way. Thanks. So respect. Cause, I cause, appreciate cause it. We kind of like climbed the ladder together. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, the so first time we were up with Mike, yeah, and then now like, cause it, it'll it'll be times where we'll be interviewed by people. And then we'll stop talking, we'll stop answering, and then uh, it's like this awkward thing, but you'll like pick it right up, like, because I don't know what to say, and he won't know what to say, and then you're just like, all right, so now into this next thing, but uh, that's dope. I don't like interviewing with dudes, neither. Really? <laughs> it's Why different. Why is it comfortable? Or? <laughs> it's just because we're comfortable with chicks, talking to chicks. Yeah, I can understand that. We're ladies, man, we do this. Yeah? We do this. <laughs> we do this. You know? We definitely still want to fuck with dudes. I've been you know, <laughs> yeah. on, on the interviews, but yeah, definitely, yeah, it's definitely easier to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. So, what can we expect next from you guys? Well, definitely, first and maybe most importantly, is just like our new project, Trust Yourself. Yeah. We're planning, like, I'm not even going to say that. Yeah, yeah. It's like me getting a gun and shooting myself in the foot. But, okay. You know, but Trust Yourself is definitely coming soon. We're probably 70% done. Okay. With some post production to do. Uh, the rest of this tour for sure, the patient waiting tour. Mm -hmm. And we got some big stuff in the works too, but we're not yeah. gonna speak on that yet. Tell about we're the playing Sunlight. Wireless Festival in London, July third. With like Drake and ASAP Rocky and uh G E Z. So that's gonna be big for us because Drake is like our favorite so like, artist, you know? We'll see man. I mean, that's, that's the plan. Yeah, we know a bunch of the same people, so we'll see what's up. I mean it's a lot of pressure, like our whole squad wants to me Drake, so oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, gonna be in, in five years. We're gonna definitely do something with the with the power and and people we reach. You know, one thing we've been noticing lately is a lot of these musicians and rappers like they can do good with their power and they can not do so good. And one thing when we're huge, like we're we're gonna help people. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're it's gonna happen. Yeah. Cool. Hey man, what it is, what it's not, man. It's the kids, OCD, Moosh, and Twist. And right now, who we messing with, man? We rocking with Sage Jones Radio, Penn State. What's good? What's <laughs>